present traffic, lay sport track on the go, runway 27 course. Okay. Down the middle of the runway. Oh, wait to get rotation speed, rotate off, and up we go. We've got a nice, calm day here, so far. And we're 6,700 feet. The uh, valley floor down here is a 5,000, so we'll have at least 1,500 feet. We're going to go down a little bit here. So the first maneuver we're going to set up for is minimum controlled airspeed, slow flight. First, the first thing we're going to do is number one on the checklist, make sure we've got enough altitude, which we will right after we get uh, past these hills here. Second is do a clearing turn to clear the area. Do a clearing turn, we're looking in back of us. Clear the area in this direction. Cessna that was going to be northbound here. We're looking for him or her. Okay, so we're going to maintain 6,700 feet here. We're going to bring our bar out here to minimum control airspeed to give a little throttle here. To now, this is the airspeed where it's still controllable, but we're going very, very slow. Go to the right, gradual turn there, go to the left, gradual turn there, maintaining altitude. So that was minimum controlled airspeed. So now we're going to set up for the stall maneuver. So again, we're going to clear the area. We'll do a 180 degree turn. Actually, we'll do a 360 here so the sun's in back of us. So we're now shooting right into the sun. Clear the area. And we'll do your classical uh, stall maneuver. Okay, we're going to pick a, a marker on the horizon. We're going to use this, the uh, little hump there with the road cut across it. Okay, so we're going to go to approach configuration. Speed. Gain our speed as we're coming into land. And then we're going to gradually, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, get up to stall. We feel stall break, full throttle, come out of the stall, full throttle with minimum altitude loss. Okay, there's your stall maneuver. Now here we're going to do a stall. Now this is how a lot of people do it. This is how the airplane pilots used to do it. It's completely unnecessary where you bring it in. Okay, approach configuration, we bring it up. We bring it out, and then we yank that bar in, dive at the ground, which is completely unnecessary. Now, a lot of people say, no, you should, we shouldn't do full power stalls, but with a small wing like this and a small engine, our attitude doesn't tend to get that high. Okay, we're up there, and... Now, if we go ahead and bring our attitude way up here, okay, and then let off on that throttle. Boy, there we go. Pretty abrupt change in attitude. Okay. So there's a, a whole array of stalls. Go ahead and clear the area one more time. 
go back and do your, your, your classic, what I consider a star maneuver. What's nice about doing a little bit more abrupt stall is that you have a little less chance of uh, getting off your heading here, plus or minus 10, 10 degrees. So we're clearing the area, we make sure we have plenty of altitude. We're going to use our, our road here as our marker since we have a nice line, straight line here. There's no misunderstanding about what's, uh, where we are being straight. Okay, so we cleared the area. Approach configuration. Coming in for landing. And 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, we feel that stall, full throttle. Recovery.